Hey, hey, hey. You know what's better than getting bits and subs? How about getting more bits and more subs? And in this video, I'm gonna show you why you should be using the new Twitch hype train and how it's gonna get you more bits, more subs, and overall, you're gonna be able to make more money on every single stream you do from here on out. Let's go. Hey all, wild coming at you. If this is your first time here and you're looking how to become bigger and better with your streaming content creation, you came to the right place. Hit that sub button down below and hit that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. Now I know what you're thinking. Am I really gonna talk about hype trains this late in the game even though they've been out for quite some time? And yeah, I am, because I wanna give you the correct information to make them better for you. Now, hype trains are really nothing new. They actually stem from the old days of streaming from sub trains and follower trains where essentially you would have a countdown clock that would count down from like five or 10 minutes and it would be to entice people to follow or subscribe. And when they would, it would fetch out to Twitch's API, letting you know that action took place. And then that clock would reset back to like five or 10 minutes, whatever it was set up and start counting down again. And this would entice people to follow or subscribe and not let that clock reach zero. Kind of a cool idea. Poorly executed back in the day. Really unique when it first came out, but as the days went on, it became really annoying to have these alerts and countdowns take up a lot of the space. A lot of hype trains still have the same problem. They're too intrusive, they take up a lot of screen space, and a lot of them play some god-awful sounds. And the nice thing about the Twitch hype train is they really took that in consideration, and the hypeness actually takes part on top of the header of the Twitch channel chat section. So it's off the video player and it's actually on the channel chat itself where you get to see all the integration work to your benefit. These Twitch hype trains are really awesome because of the fact that they're not annoying and they're executed really well. Essentially, you get to have these gigantic super celebrations with your community. Now that you understand how the Twitch hype train is built well for the viewing audience, let's talk about how it's actually gonna help you get more money. Because I'm pretty sure that's why you clicked on this video to begin with. Essentially, when viewers give you bits or when viewers subscribe or gift subscriptions, it can activate a hype train on your channel. And the sole purpose of this is to entice people to keep that hype train going from one tier to the next to encourage them to reach in to their pocketbook or to engage a little bit more to get the hype rolling on your channel. And when it does roll out with the hype, that is an opportunity for you to make more money. So why does this matter to someone like you out there? Well, there's been tons of articles written from like Streamlabs, Stream Hatchet, Stream Elements, all those analytical companies out there that having online alerts and displays really increases the revenue that you can make on your channel. And the new Twitch hype train is a visual format of getting more monetization in your stream. Thus, it's gonna fall into the same category. So essentially by using the new Twitch hype train, you can be making more money. It's a more visual impact and it's going to entice and encourage people currently in your community to give more bits, to give more subscriptions or subscribe for the first time. And this can have a huge windfall for you. Does that make sense? Good, I'm glad it does. Now, obviously the most important part is setting up your Twitch hype train on your own channel. And that's very simple. So let me show you that. Log into your Twitch account, go to the top right corner where you can go to the creator dashboard. In the top left corner, we'll give you the accordion section where you can click on preferences and go to affiliate or if you're a partner, click on partner. When this page loads, scroll almost all the way to the bottom where you see community support. And here is where you'll see Hype Train. By default, Hype Train is ticked off. So if you wanna start using it, make sure you tick it on. Below enable is where you can customize your Hype Train. You can set the kickoff threshold, the level goals, and also the cool down period. Make sure you play around with these and tailor them towards your stream. If I can give you one bit of advice, I would most likely recommend starting off at easy and get a feel for how your community likes sub trains. If they start doing them a lot, you can slowly start moving these up to harder and harder and harder goal levels. To be honest, when I first heard about this new element coming to Twitch, I literally was like, whatever, that's cool. But now that I've played around with it a few weeks, 
I really, really like it. And I have seen an increase in bits, subscriptions, and gift subscriptions. So I know it's gonna work for you too. Now, if I could give you one little hidden tip that's gonna make Hype Trains work even more for you, try to be more of a salesman. Have a little more charisma when those Hype Trains go because you want to encourage people to get that energy, to get that hype. So that way they're gonna support you to go from level one, two, three, four, and up to five to unlock all those fun emotes. Start becoming a little bit of a salesman and hype up your own channel so that way it's gonna be epic for when you reach those tiers on that train. Never be afraid to promote or hype yourself. Get the energy flowing because that's the only way you're truly gonna be successful with using hype trains correctly. And oh yeah, make sure to always say thank you to the people that helped build that hype train. That's a free tip for you. Now the only thing that I don't like about the Twitch hype train is the fact that it's lacking a little bit of an incentive for the community. And I have an idea for anybody out there in the Twitch universe or works at Twitch. Perhaps this can gain a little bit of traction with all you people out there. It would be cool if perhaps whatever tier that that hype train reached to, let's just say one through five, you could get between 100 and 500 channel points that you could distribute to the community. I feel like it'd be a fun little way to reward them so that way they can have even more fun beyond the emotes they unlock. All right, I'm really curious. How many out there have tried the new Hype Train? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What would you change about it? What would you add to it? Make sure you leave me a comment down below because I would really love to hear your feedback. Now, since we talked about Twitch channel points, perhaps you don't know exactly what those are or how to use them to your best of your abilities, which is why I'm gonna put a video over here to the side that's gonna help you understand everything you need to know about Twitch channel points and how you can unlock them and how you can use them. It's a great video, recommend checking it out. Until next time, my name's Wild for Games, helping you be bigger and better, blah, 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 and all those fun things. We're gonna peace out and obviously have a good one. Take care and of course, peace.